Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Forest River R-Pod 192 travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, run you around the inside and then back to the outside of this new couples trailer. Alright guys, we're now up inside the new R-Pod 192 by Forest River RV. And as you've seen on the floor plan there, what was up a few seconds ago, this is a front bedroom, rear bathroom coach, and basically it's a Murphy bed system setup. So we're looking toward the front bedroom area here, and you can see the sofa in sofa mode. Now, there is some storage below the sofa area right there, so you can flip that up and store some things down below. And there's also a little net there to kind of keep things from coming out. So if somebody was sitting or sleeping in the bed, you could still kind of get under there to get to things. On both sides of the bed, you have a hanging closet, which is backlit. Electric outlet, LED uh, light switch on the left-hand side. Uh, electric outlet is actually on both sides along with USB ports, but the light switch for those lights is on the left-hand side there. Now there's storage below the nightstands on both sides of the uh, bed there. And then when the bed comes down, you can see here in the pictures that are popping up, when the bed comes down, you can have, you have your window back there so you can open that up or keep it closed, kind of let in some more lights. And on each side of the bed is also a little storage shelf area there so you can set some more things down there. Now the unit has all vinyl floor throughout the coach. Now in the kitchen area here, the unit has the convection microwave. So you can cook or bake either one. You also have the two burner gas stove top with the glass flip up lid. The lid kind of acts as a backsplash when it's up, uh, but then you can also flip it down and just have extra counter space. You've got a nice big round bowl sink here with the high-rise faucet. Some overhead cabinets there and again your hood range vent there for uh, the light and also fan exhaust. Now over on this side of the area here on the side of the sink area there's your monitor panel and your water heater gas button and your water pump switch and up on the side of the cabinet up there is your digital thermostat for your air conditioner and your furnace now it also has celsius and fahrenheit mode um, so you can flip that back and forth depending on if you are from canada or from america 13.5 air conditioner up top You have a booth dinette, and the booth dinette also makes into a bed, so you can have an extra guest there. A little bit of storage under the dinette right there, and basically it's like a great little place to kind of kick your shoes off, push them under out of the way. Little pet-friendly bowls that also come with it down there. Big window overlooking the campsite, and that window does open up about 50% roughly. You have some more overhead cabinets here. Now on the side of the cabinet right here, you have a pre-wire spot for the solar panel feature. There is an option for a solar panel from the factory if you want to do that. That's basically where it's pre-wired to. And then there's the light switches, on in, in and out button, a few more switches there on the side of the cabinet. And this unit was ordered with the 28 inch LED 12 volt TV. Really nice feature there because if you're stopping at a rest area or a Walmart parking lot or somewhere along the way, you can still come into your coach, flip on your lights, you know, watch TV or something like that just to kind of relax over the parking lot areas wherever you might have to stop for a boondocking trip. Storage down below the sink area as well. One thing that's a little nicer on the 19 series, you do get a little bit larger refrigerator. 
So you have the Dometic 6.3 cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator here. Down below that is your electric box with your breakers and fuses. The new dustpan central vac feature. So you got a little dustpan vac. You just flip the little lid up, sucks the dirt right in. Or you could purchase aftermarket the hose system from the vacuum company and stretch out a hose and like clean out cabinets and stuff like that. But it doesn't actually come with the hose from the factory. Down below the microwave convection oven there is also your propane leak detector. Beside the refrigerator there, you can see the furnace down below, which is a propane furnace powered by 12 volt. You can also see the little cabinet area here, pantry area for whatever you want to use it for right there. Pretty good size pantry area. Now the bathroom door is a sliding pocket door, so you can slide that closed pretty easily. Now the sink area does have an electric outlet on the lower left hand side right there. Also have a little bit of storage underneath of the sink as well. Foot flush toilet. And some more pictures will pop up here to give you a little better view since it's such a tight area here. But um, you can kind of see in here there's plenty of room to kind of really maneuver around as a person. A little hard for the camera to get in and out of here on a wide view. But um, you can see there you got plenty of cabinet space. Shelf space back here. Nice size uh, little shower area down here. They also did the uh, skylight up above as well to give you a little extra height there. But then I like what they did with the uh, little curtain track bar. They actually brought it down over the rounded section and kind of screwed it to the wall. So the curtain does slide, but only half of it slides in and out. So it almost acts as kind of like a cloth wall right there. And then you also, again, have a window in the rear. That is open. Little night shades that pull down over top of them. And you can see the roof vent up there. Nice turbo exhaust fan to really exhaust out the moisture and stuff from the bathroom area. Overall, great little couples coach. Nice and lightweight. Easy to tow around with small SUVs and stuff. A uh, lot more wind aerodynamic with the really round front. You'll see that as we kind of go to the outside there. Uh, aluminum framed fiberglass sidewalls, Asdale composite walls. A lot of really nice, great features here. Um, we're going to head on to the outside now and check it out. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new Forest River R Pod 192 travel trailer here. And we're going to start up here on the front of the RV here. Um, you have the power tongue jack with a built in LED light there. There's a single 20 pound propane tank with a hard cover also there. Now, some customers do choose to upgrade that from a single to a dual with the dual changeover regulator and everything, dual tank mount and everything. Um, talk with your salesperson about that if that does interest you. It's not done by the factory. It is an aftermarket thing, but seems to be getting more and more popular lately. Um, you can see there the battery in the box behind that propane tank. Comes with one battery from Couch's RV Nation. RV factories don't actually provide a battery, so the dealership is responsible for doing that. There is room for a second battery if that does interest you. Again, talk with your salesperson about that feature too. Now you can see here laying on the ground and also the extra little Blue Ox mount there on the side. This customer chose to go with the Blue Ox Sway Pro system. So this is a load leveling bar system along with a sway control system. Very nice hitch. Definitely would recommend that. Um, check out the Blue Ox videos that are on YouTube. You'll see a nice uh, hitch system there. Safety chains, two inch hitch ball, little seven way Bargman plug. The unit has brakes, uh, so it is important to have a brake controller in your vehicle to control the brakes on the camper. Now, the lower part of it is like a black diamond plate on the front section of the RV there, and then it becomes fiberglass. And then it fiberglass rolls up to the main roof section up there, um, and then it becomes a uh, tough ply roof up top with a 15-year warranty. 
So on the smaller versions of the R pods, you will have a one piece front to back fiberglass roof, but not on the larger 19 series. It does become a multi piece. So a little bit different there than what you're used to seeing over the years of the smaller R pods. Now, this one was ordered with the optional outdoor little kitchen feature here. So you have a two burner gas stove top, little dump sink there with the sprayer faucet. And that is removable, so you can flip a couple latches, take that out, and get your storage back. But if you're going on a shorter trip or just don't need as much outside storage, that's a great little feature to have there. It runs right off your propane tank system, and you can do a little cooking and cleaning outside. Now, down below, you'll also see the scissor jacks. So you have four scissor jacks, one on each corner. They're heavy-duty stabilizer jacks to stabilize the RV and keep it from shaking and moving. Double entering step going into the coach, which is the aluminum tread plate step. So it's a nice little step, just kind of helps you get in and out. Older versions of our pods actually had a single step, but they have been doing the double step for a couple years. But the first versions were all single steps. Now this is a nice feature that you get on the larger 19 series, the power awning, which is a more traditional RV awning versus the Thule awning that you get on the smaller versions. Um, but this is adjustable for tilting and water runoff and things like that. You also get the LED light tube um, built in right here. So you can roll that tube in or out a little bit and kind of direct the light down or back toward the coach, however you want it to go. And then over on the side of the coach, you have your traditional amber porch light. Two outdoor speakers there. Nice big window overlooking your campsite there. And the window opens about 50%. Window going in and out of the coach, as you can see there. Now, you'll see the little blue sticker pop up here. The unit has a digital TV antenna standard, but you can remove that one and upgrade. It's pre-wired for the Wi-Fi version of that antenna. So if you are out a lot camping and stuff and need extra Wi-Fi, there is an aftermarket Wi-Fi upgrade for those. Now, down below, you can see the little pet-friendly hook feature there. And behind the little large entry handle there, you can see your traditional uh, R-Pod logo there with your model number, 192. The Asdale sticker talking about the Asdale wall construction instead of Lou on board. Really nice upgraded feature for the construction of an RV. Uh, definitely check out the Asdale on board link. I'll put it in the description there. kind of tells you a little bit about it. You also see, obviously, the RV Nation sticker there, but the Xylon sticker is an aftermarket feature, and that is a coating that goes on the outside and then some of the inside stuff as well. Uh, that customer chose to do that aftermarket at the dealership. Right behind the uh, axle there is an electric outlet on the wall, so you got outside hookups, and then your black tank flush for the toilet system is right behind that awning arm there. Step back a little bit so you can see down the side a little better. Now looking at the rear of the coach, you have your 6-gallon gas and electric water heater on that right corner there. The electric switch to turn it on is in the lower left-hand corner of the water heater out here. The gas switch is actually inside the coach on the panel to flip it to light it on gas. Spare tire mounted on the 4-inch square tube bumper. And the bumper's a great place to store dump hose. Uh, you could also do a small bike rack or something like that on the back of there. Now, you have a ladder on the 19 series that you don't get on the smaller series. Um, so you can get up on the roof, walk around, kind of inspect, inspect things, check it out, all that good stuff. You have a full walk-on roof on the 19 series of our pods where the smaller series aren't. They do a fiberglass roof, uh, but you don't really want to be up there kind of walking around on it. It's not really meant for that on the fiberglass versions. Um, the customer also chose on this one to do a observation camera that you're seeing above the window right there. And that is basically done by Furion. Oh, well, it's a Furion camera, I apologize. Uh, but it's done by the dealership, not by the RV factory. So if you want to do that, definitely, again, talk with the salesperson about that. Nice feature. Just allows you to see behind you while you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite, things like that. LED taillights and running lights on the coach. Now, down below here, you can see 
The dump area, the enclosed underbelly, really nice feature there. Uh, just kind of protecting the bottom of the RV a little bit. Also, again, gray and black dump tanks all come out of one port right here toward the rear. Detachable 30 amp power cord right here. Usually they're about 25, 30 feet long, roughly. Cable and satellite hookups right there. And the back side of the refrigerator for maintenance and inspection. Stove exhaust out right there. And then you have your outside utility shower on this side with hot and cold water. Up here by the storage door, you have your city water and fresh water tank inlets. And then you can see there the side of the storage compartment. Back up here again, let you kind of look down this side. And you can also kind of see up top there a little bit. Uh, black cover 13.5 BTU air conditioning system, along with the refrigerator vent cover up there as well. And then also on the new 20 and a half versions is when they started the windshield in the front. So that is a nice feature for pretty much all the R pods they've started doing that with, except for the bunk model, because the bunk bed is right there and where it needs braced. And then you can see here popping up on the screen your gross vehicle weight sticker, production date, VIN number, all that stuff. And then the other sticker is your dry weight. Again, guys, thanks for checking out CouchesRVNation.com. Um, they let me do these videos for you. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They're actually the largest RPOD dealer in the country. So they will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Check them out. And also, don't forget to hit the uh, button down below, like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more videos.